Torrential rain has mixed with volcanic ash to form a grey mud covering vast areas of the northern Philippines. The ash falls up to 700 kilometres from Mount Pinatubo. Our house is almost covered with ash and uh, 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 sand. And a series of earthquakes didn't let us sleep last night. Some buildings have collapsed, shaken apart by earth tremors. Others have given way to the weight of accumulated ash. Six people died when a church collapsed, eight when a hospital roof fell in. Pebbles and fragments of red-hot lava have been thrown out of the volcano, peppering the surrounding countryside and its residents. There are a lot of barns, first-degree barns, you know. Already 100,000 evacuees have flooded Manila's emergency accommodation centres, as many again have found shelter in outlying districts and towns. Manila Airport has been closed because the volcanic ash is a threat to jet engines. Aircraft and runways are covered in it. All international and domestic incoming and outgoing flights have been cancelled temporarily. Among those stranded are Qantas passengers, including members of the West Australian Ballet Company, who were due to return from a series of performances in Manila. We feel pretty, well, very safe and secure, but what's going on just an hour's drive north of us is quite incredible. The only thing that really worries me is the earthquakes, it's like feeling the whole building moving. This satellite photo shows how enormous is the cloud of ash. Manila is safe, but the ash is causing problems for residents. Transport and communications are also difficult. According to the experts, the huge eruption they were predicting is unlikely to occur. They say the worst is over. But Mount Pinatubo is so unpredictable that no one is willing to speculate on what might